Hey y'all. There we go. <laughs> I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where today I'm just going to sit here and weave in these ends, and I thought y'all might want to hang out with me and help me out a little bit. Um, just talk about stuff and weave in these ends. On my American flag blanket that I'm working on for my cousin, and I've been working on it. July 15th was a year since I did this much on it. And then... I got I made all the stars and everything and kind of got aggravated with trying to place them so I just took a took a break for a little while but anyway so I want to go ahead and weave in the ends wash the main blanket and then try the stars again um, but anyway it is a beautiful day here in Pinson Alabama it I'm sure it will be about a hundred degrees again uh, as it has been for several days or weeks uh, I do have a fan going in the background because it is quite warm and I only cool a small portion of my house since I'm the only one here, me and dog, so we'll sit in the air-conditioned room a lot. Um, so anyway, I uh, never have done one of these crochet with me or weave in the ends with me or whatever it's called. So I'll just go for a little while and work on this and try to get this done. Um, my cousin is happy with 13 stars if I can't get these 50 lined up because here's what I have I have the blanket let's see I didn't even measure it when we let me get all this stuff out of the way my beautiful notions bag that came with a project bag from the wonderful Jane Wynn designs so I have this American flag blanket the blue is soft navy I think it's just red heart super saver soft navy and like that huge huge roll and then the I think it's all super saver actually then the um, red is clarette and the white is just soft ivory or soft white uh, but what I do want to do I want to weave in all the ends I want to wash the main part to kind of soften it up a little bit because of course you know the red heart thing um, and then I'm going to try to put the stars on so I have this blanket and it is huge so here this is I'll do the width of it. This is the blue. The width of the blue. This is the stripe. These are the stripes. See how long those are. These are all these ends I have to weave in. Now, some of them I weaved in as I went. Some of them I tied off at the edges uh, before I started the next row. Um, and there's a lot of them in between. But anyway, so I did this. And then... I don't know. Has it been two hours since I made my coffee? And then I have this bucket of stars. Oh, they're not showing up because they're white. Blowing out. Um, and, I don't know. What's in the bottom of these stars? Oh. <laughs> oh, look. Worry worms. Oh, look. He's got eyes and everything. So why are these lonely worry worms? Have they worried themselves back into the... Back into my bucket? Oh, look. Oops, wait. There's one. There's one. Well, we know how that goes. We start on projects, and then there's one that didn't quite get developed. <laughs> Finished getting developed. There's all my little... Anyway, so we know how we do. We start making stuff, and we just pile it in on top of something else as we... Whatever's nearest by, right? So I have all these stars. The pattern for the American flag blanket is the... Uh, by the turtle trunk and it is a paid for pattern and I saw it a while back and it is a ripple flag blanket you know like it's waving so I, I really like that about it but then I don't know where I came up with the star pattern not going to be able to see the stars really I guess unless I lay them down but here's what had happened was I had 50 stars last year when I worked on this blanket and then sometime over the course of me either trying it and failing miserably trying to line up the stars I would start putting them on there and then as I came across it it looked, just looked like it was melting <laughs> so it something was happening and I was pinning them down I was lining them up on a I was taking a long piece of yarn and actually lining them up from the top to the bottom on the correct stitch and somehow they were still getting sideways so I told my cousin I know she's ready for this blanket since last year but I told her I said please let me just try to line up the 50 stars 
one more time. And then I have clear nylon thread, an invisible nylon thread that I'm actually going to sew them on with so I don't have to worry about all this. But then these are all the, I'm going to have to do something with these ends too. I'm going to have to weave all those in as well. But so when I finished last year, I had 50 stars. Well, when I went to work on it again this year, uh, or when I have tried to start working on it again, I just got burnt out on it, had to quit for a little while. Uh, but when I, these stars are a little bit um, less uh, bulky, I guess. So I was trying to at least make room for them however I could. Now I could just sew them on and then sew this up behind it, couldn't I? Anyway, I'll figure that out when time comes. But then when I came back around to work on it again, I only had 40 stars. So I couldn't find the exact white, the soft white I had. So I had to go buy another skein of this just to do those 10 stars. But anyway, I'm gonna weave in the ends, pre-wash the big part, and then I'm gonna try those stars again. If I can't get those 50 to line up like I want them to, then uh, my cousin said that she is okay with just having 13. So I just hate to have such a huge project then and then peter out on it here at the last minute just because I can't get the stars to line up. But I don't want it to look bad either, so there you go. So then I have a bucket full of stars. Here's my stars. <laughs> they all really look like little dead spiders or something because <laughs> they're just kind of, ah, and the ends are uh, all curled in and everything. But anyway, so I'm going to try to weave in as many ends as I can while talking to y'all this morning, and then we'll see what we can do with those stars. I may come back and do another uh, video with the stars. Let's see if there's anything. So I've got my trusted glasses. Move the worms out of the way. And then I got some snip snips and my favorite weaving in needle. This is the first time I've ever tried to set up on the table with the camera and everything. I wish I knew how to run my good camera through my computer to do uh, videos or even try to video through my good camera, but I will learn one day, I guess, if I decide to keep on going. Now, one thing I want to mention, and there's no telling what all I'll mention during this video, my potiversary is coming up August the, sometime mid-August, five years I have been doing videos and I have enjoyed doing them. I wish I could get more done. I know I'd go and go and go and try to get a bunch of videos out and then all of a sudden I just don't put out videos for a while. But I, you know, mom has had a few things going on here and there, nothing major this year, but it just has been one little thing after another. Um, but, you know, we'll just keep going and hopefully what I want to accomplish, um, my birthday is also next week and I don't even know what's going on with that, <laughs> except that I am taking almost a week off uh, like I do. Used to, I would only take a day off for my birthday because I didn't know how my birthday was going to treat me, but here lately I've started taking more days or even up close to a week off if at all possible. Call it some sort of vacation or whatever. That way if I'm, ups if I'm sad for more than one day for my <laughs> birthday, then... Uh, then I'll, I'll have time to get over it before I go back to work. Now these are some really good snip snips. I got these in some kind of gift, not really a gift. Renee got a bunch of uh, craft supplies and um, fabric and everything from somewhere when she was living in Bainbridge, Georgia. And she gave me these huge totes of stuff. And there was like three or four really good pair of scissors. These and then what are the ones that start with a W? Wayne Scott. I want to say Wayne Scott, but that's not right. Um, but these, I actually have little uh, tip covers on them because they are really sharp. And that tip is really, really sharp. But then also my favorite needle. My favorite yarn weaving in needle. And I hope that this video is clear. But again, trial and error, right? And then this, uh, these are my notes. For making the blanket. I was keeping up with the time because I knew it was going to take forever uh, to make this thing. So just the stars, I mean st just the blue, red, white, and blue stripes in the blue area, 
took me 32 and three quarter hours. Um, and that was booking. I was really, I was moving on with that. And then the stars wasn't, weren't so bad as far as time goes. It, I think I could do like 10 an hour. I can't remember. But anyway, they moved along pretty good. So I'm going to work on this, try to get this done, and hopefully uh, I won't bore y'all out too bad weaving in ends. Uh, but here we go. Dog is sitting under me scratching. She does not have fleas. <laughs> Let me just go ahead. I think she just likes scratching. Hmm. So anyway, what y'all been working on? I do have several projects I am working on, but I want to get this finished for my cousin. I hate that it has taken me a year. I don't think I have any other projects in there that um, have taken me this long. But I did. I burned myself out on it trying to hurry and finish it because I was like, yay, big big project, proud of myself, all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, I was, well, I got aggravated with the stars. That's what got me trying to, um, what are you doing? You trying to get under me? Go. The stars is what got to me. Um, just getting aggravated. Just getting aggravated. Checking my messages. I have a friend uh, whose hu husband is in the hospital in not very good shape and trying to keep check on him. All prayers would be welcomed for him. She was the one I considered my best friend at work, even though when I worked for that previous company, even though she lives across the country in Oregon. Her name is also Cindy. So I think the next project I'm going to work on, I've been doing the Things We're Making Thursday. Um, I joined that collab and did the little hats and stuff. Uh, did the hat for July. So um, the new project for that is a beautiful lacy shawl by Yarnspirations. Um, and I have, and I bought the yarn that I think I'm going to make that shawl with. I bought the yarn with her in mind because she and her husband were married at the Gorge in Oregon, um, which is also, I believe, the place where Dana, uh, Dana's Wanderlust Crochet, had the Pacific Northwest Social last year, maybe. Um, so I had gotten this yarn from Hobby Lobby called, it's either Majestic Gorge or Royal Gorge or something, but anyway, so it reminded me of some of the beautiful colors of the sunsets and everything she sent me, sunrises and stuff, pictures that she sent me during their wedding. Um, so I had already bought this even before the bad happenings this year with her husband. Um, so I think I'm going to make that beautiful lacy shawl for her in those gorge, in that gorge color. And I may pause the video and go get that for you, show you that color soon, but I will definitely show it in a Things We're Making Thursday. Because she first sent me a message in May, no, 1st of June, that he was in really bad shape, sick, and then she sent me a message a couple of days ago that just was where they were calling in their tribe to be with him. He is in ICU. And I just hate it so bad for her because she's had a pretty rough decade. She pretty much had a spinal rebuild several years ago when we were still working for that other company. And he has definitely been her rock. But she has been his as well. But that new uh that new shawl 
for things we're making Thursday is I think just called Lacy something shawl. It's a real pretty pattern. However, it is mostly double, triple, double trebles, double triples, whatever, crochets, and I just don't see me doing that many of those. I may take mine down to just triples, trebles, and see if it looks okay. Because I could get it aggravated just with trebles. A good bit. Or doing too many of them. Now it does produce a very pretty pattern. I probably go overkill with my weaving in. But I am so crazy about something possibly me giving somebody something. Well, she's actually buying this one, but even even worse, a gift or something somebody's buying that uh, I'm crazy about it possibly coming apart. And when I give somebody a gift of crochet, I tell them, I said, now my crochet has a lifetime warranty, so if it ever comes unraveled, you bring it back to me. Besides, I'd rather fix it or redo it than for them to tell somebody else, oh my gosh, don't get anything from her. It falls apart. <laughs> Actually, there's only one person in the world that I know would badmouth me over my crochet, but that's a story for a different day. I, I don't know. I, I'm hoping I'm keeping my hands in the camera, and I guess y'all are really just here to hang out. I would say I would do a live with this, but I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be able to read the things and continue weaving in ends. And then after I wash this thing, I will go back and uh, double check the ends again. I usually, I, I, I notice I've been cutting them short, but I usually leave a little bit on the end so that um, it won't pull through and be like this. Try to leave a little bit through there so that after I wash it, I can go back through and trim those ends off. That way if they shrink or anything, they won't pull, pull out of, the, of another area. Wouldn't it be nice if I would finish this while talking to you? And actually, if you're watching, you see what I'm doing, right? <laughs> I don't know another way. Can anybody else suggest a way? Can anybody suggest a way in the comments, please, how to maybe try to line up those stars uh, and get, keep them straight? I would really love to do the 50. Although she said, that, like I said, she told me it was okay to do 13. But just for the history part of it, do it with the 13 original colonies. If there's any way. Now, I thought that putting it on which I may try one more time, just running a seam through it, running a yarn through, come on, running a yarn through the stars and then lining them up. And again, I was kind of burnt out on it last year, so I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again that way. I'm going to run a string through it, space them properly, and somehow tack them down. I may just put a straight pin in it or a uh, just a clip or something to hold them in place. I try to go through. I try to go through the fibers as well as going up and around some rows and stuff when doing this. Try to get over here in camera a little bit better. So if anybody has any suggestions on that, on a way to possibly help line up those stars a little better. And you know what? My cousin's not going to care if they're a little wonky. I just don't want them too, too messed up.
I'm going to go through and do the whole math thing on it and count the stitches and stuff, try to line them up. But, again, if once I start sewing them down, if they are, I love this. I don't know where I got this needle, but every time I lose it, I mean, I don't lose it. I keep it in a pro, in a this one specific project bag, but it's got this huge eye on it. And it's not sharp, but it's sharp enough to go through yarn if I need it to, to kind of blend the stitches. Now see, some of them I've tried to go over the yarn on the, when I start the next row. I thought I did a really good job in not messing up the stripes and stuff, making the colors go into the other row or anything. I'm kind of proud of all of my crochet. I've done a lot of stuff that I never imagined being able to do. I'm thankful to be able to do it also. To finally understand it enough. I've made some amazing things that I never imagined me doing. But then again, there's a lot more um, that I would like to do that I haven't even tried to tackle yet and everybody that does all these granny squares in all the different colors and each round is a different color and weaving in all those ends I gotta give it to you <laughs> I just don't think I could do all that I say that that's the reason I hadn't done in those little African uh, African flower uh, animals and stuff I would love to do some of those too Which I guess brings me to another project I'm working on. And I'll try to get a video up this week. Um, or at least next week when I'm off all those days. Showing you all my projects. But I'm also working on a... Uh, I just finished a um, watermelon gnome. And I finished him two days too late. But... One day this week was actually watermelon, water, national food holiday was watermelon. My favorite. So I did a little, uh-oh, cut that one short. I did a little um, watermelon gnome that is so cute. I still have to glue on the, I keep getting out of range, sorry. Uh... I still need to hot glue the seeds on. Now I have never hot glued a project together, but the seeds on this watermelon, I'm, I'm just gonna have to. I usually don't hot glue anything just because I never know if it's gonna go to a kid or something. I don't want the parts to come off. And, you know, I've had projects before that, not crochet projects, but I've had other things that, you know, if the hot glue gets overly hot, it, the weather is overly hot or overly co over cold, extra cold, then it just snaps off the, I mean, it just comes off, comes apart. Then I thought about using that E6000, but I think that needs to be used on, is that the name of it? I think that needs to be used on more solid projects instead of a cloth or fabric type. So other than that, I got him finished, and then um, I've been working on a crochet along kind of thing with alt knots she is doing the hundred day hundred days to halloween and each day you make a different granny square and i did put up a short yesterday so i will link that along i will link that below somehow i actually did a little experiment with my videos on my on my shorts and put some music behind it i put some put some um text on it 
Now, if I could just figure out how to edit videos, I would love to do crochet alongs or um, I've got a couple of reviews I'd like to do of some, some yarn and but I really can't do that if I can't um, if I can't splice videos together. I mean, I guess I could turn the camera on me, pause the video, uh, turn it to here on my hands to do the review. I would also like to, if I could, I'm going to bring my cord in later from my charging cord for my phone and see if I can't somehow hook up my camera, my phone, through my computer to record. I've been watching Kayla. Well, Kayla, alt knots is Kayla, but uh, um, so anyway, I've been, I've got seven different colors. Let me finish one subject at a time, please. <laughs> I've got to have a drink of coffee first in my Sea Rock City cup. Ooh, that looks dirty. Oh, anyway, I guess it is. <laughs> it's not dirty. It's where I've been drinking coffee. Just plain old black coffee that's done got about cold. Um... So Kayla with Alt Knots, and she only does like five colors, and they're Halloween colors for this Granny Square blanket. She's also got a hundred nights till a uh, hundred days to Halloween countdown movies. She's got a hundred movies listed, different, uh, anywhere from sci-fi to um, slasher to um, cheesy kind of movies, and then some that's like game like chasing horror chasing type cat and mouse type uh so i'll put her link below as well if you want to watch that so we have she has five different colors of halloween colors that she's doing a granny square each night and i'm doing maybe a couple at a time in case i miss a day or two because some nights i come in i just want to go to bed i don't really want to I don't really want to watch a movie or crochet. Um, and with my crazy schedule, you know, sometimes I have to be back in less than 12 hours, so, um, you know, it makes it hard on to do anything but come in and go straight to bed. So anyway, I have like seven different colors. And if you'll watch that short, you'll see the seven I have. And I don't know if... I want to, there's supposed to be 100 granny squares at the end, and then we put them together and make a blanket, right? So, and I'm doing a solid granny square. Um, so I have a hot pink, a neon pink, a hot yellow that's called super duper yellow, I do believe. Um, and then I have purple that is a deep, deep purple from, I know it's the Premier Judge Yarn from Dollar Tree. Then I have like the slime green, which also was from Dollar Tree, but then I'll end up using some of the other, like limeade or something. If I don't have enough, I'll end up, and I may have different shades of orange. So the orange I've got is like a bright orange also. I think it's just uh, Walmart's basic orange, basics orange. Um, and then I have I got, I don't have it in here, but I got a um, Red Heart Super Saver, it's not stripes, just a variegated, and I think it's called Black Light, and it has all those colors in there. It has black, orange, purple, green, yet, uh, but it also has like a turquoise. So I bought turquoise, or I have turquoise, uh, Red Heart Super Saver turquoise, and I was going to put that in there, but I'm trying to decide if it is um, going to take, if, if it's Halloween-y enough to put in there, because it's a bright and a neon type uh, color, but 
watch that short and see what you think about that and let me know if you think the turquoise should come out I can either I've got seven so I either need to find three more colors or lose two now I wanted to put the thing I wanted to put all the squares together with just black but I have a I think that a charcoal will look good in there um, I try not to use black a whole lot but I don't want to use solid black and then uh, put it together with the black as well. So I have a smoky gray fleck tone or a uh, tweed that's got that's got um, all the same different colors of specks in the in the tweed the for the tweed. And it's kind of a smoky charcoal color base with uh, those little tweed pieces. So I was thinking about putting that in there. And then I was also going to, I've also got like a different shade of green. I may go with like uh, Mama suggested a, a deep olive green that would still be kind of Halloween-y because that's the color of the... Uh, leaves on a pumpkin and the stem of a pumpkin and then I was thinking about also what else did she say I think she said a lighter purple would also look good in there like an orchid or a the lighter Beetlejuice purple <laughs> crochet with me to put that together too but anyway so I either need the the finished piece is supposed to be 10 by 10 oops I think I missed part of that the finished piece is supposed to be 10 squares by 10 squares now hers she's got hers at five inches a piece and um, mine are coming out about six and a half the what the yellow is a different color not a different color, a different size. It is like Karen Simply Soft or something. So it's coming out thinner. So I went up a hook size to make it come out the same size as the rest of them. So I will link that below in case you'd like to do that as well. The 100 days have already started not sure what day we're on. I have marked it on my calendar. So I'm not getting in all the movies and everything. And some of the movies I can't get on my subscrip or my subscription. I just have a fire stick. So I only subscribe to Amazon and uh, Netflix. So some of those are on some of the other channels that you have to have subscriptions to. So I'm not getting to watch those. But it is making me sit down long enough to watch movies at least. I started watching a series, I think it's a Prime series, Amazon Prime series, called Good Omens. But then it's, I just got bored with that one, so I quit watching that one. What else have I watched lately? I watched the new Top Gun the other night, and it was okay. It's kind of sad, of course, in places. It was good. I think I saw a couple places in there, though, where where they didn't hide Tom Cruise's uh, wrinkle tape very well on his forehead. <laughs> and Ed Harris has always been a sexy thing, but gosh, they could have done a little better on his makeup too. Val Kilmer, bless his heart. But he always does good. And I don't know if all the heavy makeup is just because of them putting it in HD or whatever and maybe it's just I don't know anyway they still some good looking fellers anyway I'm gonna finish up this I'm gonna finish up this side of it and then I'll let y'all go because I am sitting here at 34 minutes just yapping 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 uh, but I did start to say um, watching M Mama Llama Kate llama mama kayla bless her heart she's going through something else with that mouth oh 
I remember Mama when she had all of her her teeth pulled, and it sounded like the same kind of thing. Kayla said something about little little pieces of um, bone still being in there. Mama did the same thing, except her um, her after they took out all her teeth, they the bone like turned, and all of those things were poking out instead of down like your teeth do. So I remember her going through that too. But Kayla is also working on a beautiful uh, red, white, and blue blanket. And she's d every one of hers is granny squares. And that's the kind of granny squares I'm talking about that I just don't know that I could deal with. <laughs> Changing colors in the middle of all of them. Although I did do that on um, Kayla's uh, <coughs> excuse me, crossbody, little granny square crossbody bags. The, the last one I did... The first one I did, <coughs> excuse me, first one I did, I didn't color control or anything because my aunt just wanted the pretty colors and everything, and she had lost her phone purse, so I made that for her, and, um, but the second one I made out of those little dollops or whatever from Hobby Lobby, the little cotton dollops, and I did color control because it, there's such... The colors don't just gradually go into each other, change. They are just really abrupt changes. And plus it's a number three yarn, so I just went ahead and separated the colors so I could do what I want. And then um, one of the colors ran out while I was doing the strap. So I had to piece the strap. I mean, I had to put another color in there for the strap, but it's okay. But that's the only, but I didn't change like every square. I changed like, I did like three rounds uh, of one color, three rounds of another color, three rounds of another color. Wasn't like changing every time. I just don't have the patience for that, I don't think. Well, and like just like with this, weaving in all these ends that I should have done along the way. And I did, I did do a lot of them. But as you can tell, <laughs> I didn't do a lot of them, too. <laughs> I'm going to go around the edges and get all these and then go back and uh, then go through the middle and get all them. But like I said, I'm going to take it, I think I'm going to take it to a laundromat to one of those larger, uh, even though my washer would be okay. I want one of those large ones without an agitator. Maybe one of the like the front loaders, the new washers that are out, or I say new, but they're new to would be new to me. I don't care for one of them for myself, front loaders or whatever, without an agitator. Or even the top loaders now don't have agitators. That's interesting. I just don't know how it could wash clothes without an agitator. Because that goes back to the old days of beating them on a rock and using a washboard down by the creek. Got to have something to work that dirt out. But that's just me. Also, did y'all see my video about the uh, my early birthday present I got? Woohoo! Still don't know who sent it. Still very thankful to whoever sent it. Haven't made anything yet, but um, I found this recipe earlier. Well, the first recipe I want to make with that thing is my Meemaw's Pound Cake. And I haven't yet found my recipe uh, that my Aunt Donna, bless her soul, um, sent me of my Meemaw's recipe back after my Meemaw passed away in 96. My Aunt Donna typed it up for me on some real pretty paper. Used to when we would all use pretty stationery to send letters and stuff. And she would explain that you would just leave that stuff running and running and running in your mixer and uh, just beat it to death. <laughs> 
So that's where I always knew that the secret to a, a real, one of those good old Meemaw Packy pound, mm, excuse me, pound cakes was letting it sit in your mixer forever. This mixture also has a splash guard, so uh, thankful for that because when you gradually add your flour, it doesn't go all over the kitchen. <laughs> you don't have to clean everything because it's all over the kitchen. So anyway, y'all let me know what you're working on and anything I might have mentioned in this video. If you have any suggestions on how to get those stars lined up, if you have any secret to that, uh, like I said, I am going to be using... Um, uh, clear nylon thread to put those on and if I decide to go with 13 then I can put them on each side uh, whereas if I go with 50 I definitely won't be putting them on each side <laughs> if I could even get 50 to line up it would be great but I'm going to try to line up the 50 one more time so that is all the ends woven in next to the edge on the far edge the See what we got. Also, uh, another prayer request, please, for Mama again. Um, she went into the doctor for a A1C checkup, and thankfully, praise report for that. Her A1C has dropped uh, two full points, two point two, I think. Uh, let's see, it was two point two. I think it's actually just two two points. Uh, it had gotten as high as 10.2, and now it's down to 8.1 or 8.4. So anyway, that's a good thing, although the new medicine she's taken is uh, really dropping it way too low for her during the day, so she's having to uh, adjust that a little bit. Um, but during the time that she was having the A1C, she had a chest x-ray and... Doc has called and said that she has pneumonia, so could use a little bit of prayers, could use a lot of prayers for that as well, um, in hopes that she heals soon, because we're supposed to be having some days off next week for our birthday. My birthday will be Saturday, my, hers will be Sunday, so we always celebrate some kind of way, and past couple of years, we've actually been able to go out of town and uh, just visit, just visit with Renee, so anyway... I've kept y'all now for almost 45 minutes. Hope it's been okay that I've done this. Uh, trying to pick up some content on my channel and hopefully uh, get going. I think I said it. I think I started it three times about my pod podiversary coming up and my birthday. Well, my podiversary, five years. And I would really love to get to 2,000 subscribers. Um, I'm sitting at like 1.97. So I only need about 30... Uh, 20 something more but we'll let's say 30 just to be safe and I would love to um, get to 2,000 and, and do some kind of giveaway I may do some kind of giveaway for five years anyway um, and see where we go with that but anyway y'all help me get there like share and subscribe my videos if you do like them and uh, help me get to 2,000 and then we'll do some kind of giveaway so anyway I guess I will talk to you guys later. I will try to have a better setup next time. But hopefully this has been okay for now. And I will see you soon. Hope y'all have a good week. Love y'all. Bye.